We are live in the talk in Norwich for October Outrage 11. It's Roy, the Zebra Kid Beavis from Norwich. The Governor Martin Stone from East London. Ten rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. This is what it's all about. This is why anybody is in WAW. It's to hold the belt that Martin Stone was just holding above his head. He does not own it yet. It belongs to the Zebra Kids. But over the next 10 rounds, we're gonna find out who walks out of here with the belts. You can hear the support for the Zebra Kid. He is in his hometown defending the World Championship and many of his family and friends are surrounding the ring. Family, friend, teammates, everybody here is supporting the Zebra Kid. Uh, it seems like only yesterday, but it's over six months ago now that in this very ring, in this very building, the Zebra Kid famously won that World Championship. This is the first ever all-British match for the World Heavyweight Championship here in WAW. You know, Martin Stone is renowned around the country. He is one at halls and arenas and venues up and down. Everywhere in England knows who Martin Stone is. That's why he has reached the point where he has been awarded a shot at the WAW World Heavyweight Championship. Well, and you can feel the tension, Dave. It's like something's about to happen. It's like a fight club atmosphere here. You know, he knew it was going to be a hostile reception, did Stone, but you've got to wonder, when he when he was backstage and heard the reception of London Inc. got, being from the same city he is, he must have... It must play on your nerves, surely. Not Martin Stone. Not Martin Stone. I can pretty much guarantee you, Martin Stone is as hard as they come. He is as hard as a stone. He is not going to let these guys get under his skin, I'm pretty sure. Stone has opted for the same strategy that Doug Williams did earlier on in that he's opted for the managerial services of Sam Nee. Clearly thinks he needs some backup coming into the talk tonight. Well, you know, you never know. We've seen it a lot in boxing. We see it sometimes in wrestling as well. Home time decisions. And I mentioned it right at the start of this show in the match between Zach Zodiac and Phil Powers. You know, sometimes in WAW, things go the night's way. Martin Stone just wants to make sure that he does not come up on the wrong end of a bad decision. What was that from the ring announcer? I think Martin Stone is threatening to leave. Well, that's the, what's the point in doing that? He's not he going to leave. That way, can He's he? not leaving, Dave. This is a very important match for Martin. He is not going to walk out an opportunity to walk out of here with the WAW World Championship. Well, finally the bell rings. We are about to get underway. Almost a football type atmosphere in here. We've got songs being sung by some of Zebra's teammates. Indeed, a very successful centre forward in a, here in Norfolk amateur football is Roy the Zebra Kid Beavis. It's well documented, his personal troubles over the past few years, even spent some time in prison, but rebuilt his life, culminating in that big world title win we talked about on Easter Sunday. It could all come crashing down here though, Martin Stone one of the premier wrestlers in this country. If not the world, in fact. Absolutely. And tough as nails as well, but then Zebra Kid, you could say much the same about him as he's proving, taking the fight to the challenger for the heavyweight championship of the world. Zebra Kid. Well, Zebra Stone is past in his, his element. And he just, yeah, he just slammed Stone onto the hard floor. What's he got now? He's got a chair. He needs to be careful. It's freaking crazy. 
Sam Nee's already panicking. So much for manager of champions, eh? Hang on. Martin Stoll's having a seat against his will. Oh! And Zebra ducked. Stone tried to knock him off the chair. And now look what's this. Zebra's gonna. Is he gonna try the same thing? Oh, oh Mike, Mike, what's he yeah. going for here? Zebra! Zebra Kid is on the ring apron! My goodness! An elbow drop! Across the chair! On Martin Stone! He may have snapped his spine in half! Dear God, that was just brutal! And the crowd here and the talk are baying for more. Zebra Kid, happy to oblige. Clothesline! Stone is at sixes and sevens early on in this world title match. Public warning to the Zebra Kid, not that he'll care, I don't suppose, but be a brave referee who disqualified the Zebra Kid in front of this crowd. Watch out. Blocked that, then blocked that one. Martin Stone dropped onto that wooden table. This is the fourth championship match we've seen tonight. It's been a night for the champions so far. They've all held onto their belts up to this point. But perhaps the most jeopardized has got to be this one, the world title, Martin Stone. Anywhere else in this country, anywhere else in the world, you would probably make a favorite against the Zebra Kid, but we're not anywhere else in the world, are we, Stu? We're in the talk in Norwich. Yeah, absolutely. Stone in the corner. But you know, you got to wonder. You see Zebra looking around, enjoying the, the atmosphere, using it to try and power himself forward. But you, you wonder whether the, the desire is in, in Zebra Kid. Oh, what's that? Oh. We didn't get a kick. proper view of it, but it was a kick to the right. side of the head. and. I was going to say, you've got to wonder as far as Zebra, I wonder how much pressure there is on him to perform in front of his fans, in front of his family, in front of his teammates. You know, how much extra pressure does that actually put on Zebra Kid? Well, imagine just how quickly the air would deflate from this crowd if Zebra did lose the world title here. It's not worth thinking about. There could be a riot in Norwich tonight. Stone, I think, was choking the champion. Dave Finch having words. He didn't get a break as quickly as he would have liked. Don't think he's going to give a public warning. No, I thought he may have been going for the card there, but neglected not to on this occasion. Stone again with the choke. Again, Dave Finch doesn't get the break he wants. I'm not sure this is consistent officiating. We know we've already had a, a public warning for the champion. You talk about the Knights getting their getting their own way here in the talk. It's not happening here. No, well maybe Dave Finch is intimidated by Martin Stone. Tough not to be when he can deliver an uppercut like that. Stone drops a knee across the, the jaw, the throat of Zebra Kid. He could have got a first fall. Listen to the noise from this crowd. Martin Stone doesn't care. Repeated headbutt, shoulder thrust to the gut of the Zebra Kid. Stone goes in. Zebra gets the feet up. Zebra up high. And a drop kick takes down Martin Stone. Well, Sam Nee's tactical advice here seems to have disintegrated into shouting shut up at the crowd what do people see in this man as a manager well, well again much like Doug Williams I don't think Martin Stone is asking Sam Nee for tactical advice he's just there to make sure that he's got another man on his side Sam Nee is the only man inside this building who wants Martin Stone to win the belt Zebra Kid is having his leg pulled there and a Precarious way by Sam Nee, who's now smirking. He's very pleased with himself, as normal. That's his default position. 
And again, knee again now, look at this. Stone has clearly thought out what he's going to do, how he's going to try and win this. Heavily relying on the second man on the outside. This is only, what, round two? End of round two now, but... Ooh. Well, Stone gets his first public warning. That's long overdue, if you ask me. And look at this again now, Knee! Referee caught at that time. Look at the angelic look on the face of Sam Lee. That's what you think an angel looks like. I didn't do anything, that's what he's telling the referee. All right, seconds away, round four. I thought it was only round three, which has been... Time has been flying in this one. It's, Absolutely. It's, it's, it's hard to tell, distinguish between what's part of the match and what's in between, because there's so much afters here. Wait a minute. Well, I didn't catch what Stone said, but I don't think it was anything very complimentary towards those footballing teammates of Roy the Zebra Kid, Beavis. Thumb to the eye now from Stone. I wonder if it's eating away a bit at Martin Stone that he wasn't the man who was the first ever world, first ever British world heavyweight champion here in WAW. He seems very, very determined to be the second. Zebra Kid maybe fading away. Stone has got nope. his arm wrapped around the neck. It's like a choke to me, but referee's allowing it. Close line by Stone, Zebra ducks, and again, Zebra Kid flies at Martin Stone. Drop kick now from the champion. Where's he going? Oh, he's going high. Is he gonna go for that trademark elbow? Oh, didn't get the chance. Stone pushes the referee into the ropes. Stone's going for the cover. Oh, and Stone! at his feet on the ropes. Yes, he did. That's the second time in a major decision has been wrongly given in one of these title matches tonight. Well, Stone, the challenger, takes an important one fall to nothing lead. That's going to be the end of round four. So there's six rounds left, and if Zebra's going to win this outright, he needs to get a fall in two of those six without Martin Stone getting a single pin. Yeah. Very difficult to get one pinfall or one submission over a hard man like Martin Stone, let alone two. Zebra, look at him, he's down. Well, there's the difference right there. Picture tells a thousand words. You saw Stone standing up, calmly drinking water. Zebra Kid been lying on his back throughout the break between round four and five. In well, my opinion, as far as Zebra Kid is concerned, he has to come back in this round. If he doesn't, the momentum's really going to start getting drained out of this crowd. Well, Stone was only a half a second away from winning it there with that cover. Stone telling the crowd to be quiet. Not being quiet just yet, but unless Zebra Kid gives him something to cheer, the relief start, might start to ebb out of that raucous cry. Yeah, shouting at these people to be quiet isn't going to work, but tell you, your actions in the ring, if you can neutralize the Zebra Kid as Stone oh, is watch doing. Out. Big vertical suplex. I thought he may have gone for that trademark London Bridge DDT, but instead he got the suplex, goes for the cover and only two, but could be just a matter of moments before a new world champion is crowned here. The fans in the talk are defiantly continuing to cheer on their hero, but, but even they must be starting to wonder. So, oh, he's uh, got it. Cobra he's got clutch. a Cobra clutch. And he's tapped. Stone has tapped. Stone has tapped. And well, you said he had to come back, Stu. That's exactly what he's done. And the, oh, the fans in the talk are going wild. It's one fall apiece. 
Incredible. Zebra Kid coming back with that Cobra Clutch. Wrapped the legs around as well to add some extra pressure. Squeezed the life out of Martin Stone, who tapped out. You did not see that very often. I'm in shock. Martin Stone, one of the hardest men I've ever met, tapping out. And we're between rounds here. This isn't officially part of the match. Zebra burying the boot repeatedly into the chest and stomach of Stone. You know, I wonder whether that tap out from Martin Stone was a... Because he had a one-fall win, he, you know, he was able to tactically tap out there so that he didn't cause himself an injury. In the midst of all that, I think Zebra Kid got his second and final public warning for that. Those uh, kicks after the bell. So he needs to be very careful now. So he's certainly taken nothing away from Zebra Kid, who won that fall totally fairly, but... You know, Martin Stone has, has come back here very quickly. I think he tapped out quickly to make sure he did not pick up any further injury. Now, here we and go. He is holding Zebra Kitten. And Zebra moved out of the way. Stone hit knee and a roll up. And Zebra a second away from keeping that championship. Sudden death now in this battle at the talk. You're watching October Outrage 11, the World Heavyweight Championship on the line as Martin Stone drops a knee across the chest. New champion maybe, new champion no. The Zebra Kid gets the left arm up. The trouble now for Zebra Kid is that, as I said, he's on that second and final public warning. He's in a kind of a brawl situation, but he can't afford any more infractions of the rules. Close line from Zebra, make it two. Zebra picks up Stone, drops him down with a slam. Two of the hardest hitting heavyweights in the game going at it for the gold. And Zebra, he's lining him up. Maybe motioning for a super kick. The champion is stalking the challenger. Sam Nee is trying to warn Martin Stone. Is Stone too groggy to realise what's going on? Oh, he yes, got him. He, he, got is. Him. he got him right in the chin. I'm not sure he got all of it. Well, it doesn't matter because Sam Knee. He's just, he's just put the leg on the ropes again. This is repeated, repeated. And now what's he, hang on a minute. What's he just, I think Sam Knee just passed something to Martin Stone. Can't see at this oh, point. He oh, he did. He was nuts. That's brass knuckles. No, no, no. Not like this. Not like this. No. Yes. No. We have a new champion. The second British World Heavyweight Champion has been crowned here tonight at the top. Martin Stone wins the belts. Wait a minute. Well, a member. Good call, Michael Mann. WAW Championship Committee member. Oh, oh, Dave Stone is just going to blindly go with it. Come on, Raf. Talk about having. Oh, wait. Super kick, super kick from Zebra Kid. I was gonna say, talk about having victory literally snatched from your hands. He had the world title belt in his hands, did Stone. But now, a Zebra crossing, Zebra crossing, and the champion retains the world title at October Outrage. Zebra Kid with the elbow, the Zebra crossing, and Martin Stone has been beaten tonight in Norwich. It is chaos here in the top, and we've got an invasion. The people of Norwich are celebrating with their hometown hero, a travesty of justice overturned, and the Zebra Kid, quite rightly, is still the heavyweight champion of the world.